Hello, my name is Warren Ruziak. I'm a senior technical evangelist with Atlassian. Today, I'm going to present a short demo of how to deploy a code change to a production environment using Atlassian Open DevOps. This video accompanies the Atlassian Open DevOps Quick Start Guides, and you can follow those guides to set up a similar environment um, as a sandbox where you can test this kind of software and get to know the tools and features available to you. Hello, we're going to demonstrate how to deploy a code change from our terminal through to our test regions and then into our production regions using Atlassian Open DevOps. So to start with, uh, we're gonna take a look at submit image here. This is a simple AWS Lambda that's been written in Go. Um, this is part of an image labeler application uh, that lives across five regions in AWS. Um, we've got a test region in US West 1, we've got a staging region in US East 2, and we have three production regions, one in US West 2, one in US East 1, and one in CAC Central 1. So to deploy a production change, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Jira, and we're going to create a new Jira issue. And we're gonna make a note of the Jira issue ID. The Jira issue ID is the key that ties together the work done on the coding side and our Jira issues. Um, so what'll happen is when we push code changes um, to branches and those code changes are deployed to various regions and environments, um, that information will be aggregated and updated in the ticket. So for now, we're gonna notice that we've got OP41 here. If we jump over to the terminal, we're on mainline, so we're going to check out. A new branch. And we're going to jump into submit image. We're going to make a simple change here. Uh, for the purposes of this example, we're just going to make a trivial change. Now we've got a single file that's changed. We're going to do our standard procedure of git add and git commit. When we do our commit, we want to make sure we put the Jira issue ID in the commit message. Again, this is so the Jira and Bitbucket integration can work together and update the Jira issue with our pushes and various commits. And we're going to push to a remote branch. That's done. We can jump back over to submit image and we can take a look at our pipelines. You'll notice here that we've got an OP41 branch. And in the OP41 branch, we've got a single pipeline running. This pipeline does a few things. First thing it does, it runs our unit test. These tests are a part of the submit image Lambda package itself. <clears throat> the next thing we do is we deploy to US West 1, um, and then we run integration tests against US West 1. These integration tests are, and again, system tests that verify that the system as a whole is working. Um, if these fail, we won't move on to deploying to US East 2, and we can go back and roll back our deployment. If they pass, we'll automatically roll forward. So in this case, we have at most one broken region, which we can automatically roll back from pipelines. To take a look at the regions that we've got set up for deployment, we see that we've got five regions set up. We have a test region in US West 1, as mentioned, staging region US East 2, and our three production regions. This is highly configurable. You can set this up any way you want. So if you have an application that runs across a different set of regions, that's straightforward and easy to work with. You can do that however you want. So we jump back to pipelines. Uh, this is still gonna continue running, so this will take a little while. Let's go back to our JIRA board <clears throat> and take a look at submit image. One thing we've noticed is that this section got updated. <clears throat> this is the JIRA integration. Um, and what we can notice is that we have a commit. This is the commit we just pushed. It's automatically logged against the JIRA. We have no pull requests at this point. We can see there's a single branch in the submit, submit image repository, and there's a single build going on. 
So far, we have no deployments um, that have succeeded, but we do have a deployment to US West 1 test that's in progress, which lines up with what we're seeing here. So in this way, um, management or project managers can stay on top of kind of what work is being done for any given JIRA issue automatically. And as a developer, I don't have to go in and punch a bunch of updates into the JIRAs. I can just keep coding and working. So now we're gonna wait a few minutes here for this to complete. And we see the deployment to US West 1 was successful. So now we're gonna run our integration tests against US West 1. Integration test code lives in a repository called system test. Um, this is shared across all of the Lambda repositories. So it allows us to write one set of system tests in a specific repository and reuse it. Okay, so we've pushed a simple change and the integration tests that passed in US West 1 2. Since they passed, we're going to move on to deploying to our second region, uh, US East 2 staging. We will finish this pipeline and we won't have deployed to any of our production regions yet, so our customers won't be affected. Um, you can do whatever kind of internal quality assurance processes you want at this point, um, if you have manual processes. If you don't, you can automatically, you can start to cut a pull request and um, begin deployments to your production regions. So that's what we're gonna demonstrate after this pipeline is complete. So now we're just gonna wait for this to finish up. All right, our deployment to USC2 staging is complete. And again, we're gonna automatically run our integration tests in that region to verify that our change hasn't affected the system as a whole in that region. Okay, so our integration test passed in USC2. At this point, we've deployed to both of our pre-production regions and we can make the choice to create a pull request and deploy to production. So we'll demonstrate that now. Creating pull request is pretty straightforward. It populates things automatically. You can have a quick description. And we're going to tell this to delete the branch once we're done deploying. take a look at the change and decide that that's acceptable or not we can approve it and we can merge it and we're going to transition our issue to done so we've seen we've successfully done a pull request and we've merged we go back to pipelines The OP41 branch is no longer here because we had it deleted as part of the pull request. You don't have to do that, but it's something that you can do if you want to keep it clean. And we can see that our production deployment is working. Now this pipeline will look a little different. In this case, we're deploying the three production regions and we're running three sets of integration tests. We're not running the unit tests in this case. You could, there's nothing that stops you from doing that. Um, the pipelines are extremely flexible. You can model whatever kind of workflow or process you want. So while this runs, we're going to jump back over to JIRA and take a look at that ticket again. So one of the things we checked was to move this issue to closed after we started the production deployment. So we've done that. We jump in here now. There are no more branches because the branch was deleted. We can see that there was the original commit as well as a merge request. We've created one pull request, which we can open up and take a look at if we want. There was a single build, and as we can see, we've now got deployments. The testing deployment was successful. The staging deployment was successful, and now we're in progress for US West 2 production. So later on, uh, we'll see that US East 1 production and CA Central 1 production will be added here as well.
and the issue has been transitioned to done, all without a developer having to go back into Jira and manually make updates. So at this point, we just sit here and wait this out. And when we're done, um, we'll have deployed all the way through production. All right, we've successfully deployed the US West 2. And we're now moving on to running integration tests. We go back to our JIRA. And we'll go back to our deployment section. We now see that the US West 2 deployment is successful. And if we refresh this, we'll probably see the US East 1 um, deployment show up as soon as we get past the integration, steps, or integration test step. We see the real power of kind of continuous integration here. Um, being able to automatically run our tests and make decisions about whether to continue or fail uh, based on the test results. And our integration tests have passed in US West 2. So if we go back to Jira and we refresh this, we should see. Better deployment is started in US East 1. So this will continue to run through to the end and we'll have finished deploying to all of our production regions at that point. Okay, that concludes our demo for today. Uh, please read the Atlassian quick start guides on Atlassian Open DevOps uh, so you can learn how to set up your own sandbox environment and get to know the tools and capabilities that we have here. Thank you.